Just finishing out the round the way you did after that three putt on five and, and then, um, you know, coming back with that eagle on set. Yeah, I think, um, well, I knew number seven was, was a gettable par five. It was downwind, so I knew I was going to have a, an iron in. And luckily, I, I hit it close. I had a good look at, at that putt, was, was able to make it. And, of course, pretty excited about that eagle. It um, got me back to um, even for the, the day. And I, I had good looks in, on eight and nine, couldn't make them. But um, you know, I'd say it was, it was a pretty good finish. And uh, I'm excited for what's coming tomorrow. Any problems having to pick things up where you left off yesterday with the weather and everything? I mean, I think it was the same for everyone. You, I mean, it's, we, we can do anything about it. It's outside our control. And we just had to come out today. I had seven holes to finish. and. I just kind of had to do what I had to do and um, just try to take care of what I, I, I could on the golf course. And I mean, I I think it was fine. It was just, uh, I actually enjoyed just having to play seven holes today. That was kind of nice. I, I'm not tired. So uh, it'll be nice to, to save our legs for um, tomorrow and hopefully for match play on Tuesday. You're as relaxed as you appear out there chatting with your uh, competitors and so forth. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy playing golf. I think um, talking to to my competitors and uh, even the people outside the ropes, it's, it's part of it. And uh, it's also some of the things that, that I enjoy the most. And uh, I think they, they take some of the pressure um, off me. So I think it, uh, it's, it's just part of, of the way I play the game. And um, I think it's what, what's most fun about it, too. You're up at the top of the leaderboard. That that eagle got you back in to tie for the lead. Then Sierra comes back and chips in on eight to tie you. And then, what's that like, kind of going back and forth out there, you know, atop the leader? Um, well, of course, I, I don't know how the individual leaderboard is because um, they're they're just showing the teams. I knew that Sierra was having uh, a good round and that we we're probably going to be um, pretty close. But again, I think I was just trying to. Uh, make as many birdies as I could. I uh, again, I, ha I had good looks. I just wasn't able to to make them. But um, I th it's fun. I think it's a nice place to be. I'm excited uh, to be in contention for tomorrow, and hopefully, I can uh, post a low number and uh, get to win the title. How much is your length and advantage on this golf course? Uh, I think it's big. I mean, I uh, of course length is. Um, great in, in a lot of golf courses but I think on this one especially um, it pays off a lot and I can drive it over some bunkers that people are trying to just go around or something like that and for me they're not even in play so I think that's that's a huge advantage and um, I think I just have more options than than some of those players out there and I think if I can um, just get some puts to drop I'm gonna have um, a pretty good chance at winning tomorrow. How much did that come into play uh, with you wanting to come back to, to win the individual? I know the team's important as well, but to, to be sitting there a shot off the lead going into the final round. It's it's really exciting, but I mean, again, I'm most focused on helping the team. So I know uh, a low round is, for I mean, of course, going to help me with, with the individual title, but it's going to help um, the team as well to, to get on that top eight and um, for us to uh, make it to match play and, of course, uh, I mean, coming back was this was my my main goal, getting getting the team to nationals. We did, and now we we have a pretty good look at, at match play. I know we're we're playing good good golf. I'm really excited to see um, what tomorrow brings, and hopefully um, we get to play on Tuesday. And uh, I mean, match play is a different beast, so I'm I'm very excited for that as well. How many friends and family do you think will be out here tomorrow? I hope a lot of them. <laughs> uh, I know I, I have some classmates and even professors coming tomorrow and uh, fellow like student athletes and stuff uh, have shown and stuff and I mean everyone here in, in Arkansas supports the Razorbacks and literally anything that has 
to do with, with the Arkansas Razorbacks, there, there's going to be people here. And I think that's our biggest advantage here. It's, I mean, of course, knowing the course helps, but having uh, the crowds and the people supporting us has, has been great these last two days. And I'm excited for how tomorrow is going to look like. How is the course played different from maybe a qualifying round or just a practice round that you guys have played? I don't think we've played it as hard as, as it is playing this week. And it's kind of funny because we, we thought we were, I mean, we've seen it all pretty much and that we had played in really tough conditions and uh, with fast greens or firm greens. Uh, but, but it's pretty hard this week and uh, it's, it's fun to see the course playing like that. And it's exciting to see how we're responding to a course that's tough like that. And um, I guess the pressure of a golf tournament, of course, uh, adds some difficulty to that as well. But it's just really exciting to to get to see the course play the way it is uh, at a tournament. Thank you. Thanks, Maria. Thank you guys.